what is up, my optimistic empire? And I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not going to do that. Let's try this again, shall we? What is up, my optimistic empire? My YouTube account makes the introduction unnecessary. You know, they'll light you with one anyway. I'm Christian Blonde Miracle. Ugh, gross. Okay, now I know who I am. This video kind of is a little different. I don't normally just sit down and talk about something like, you know, like a subject of sorts, unless it's a podcast or whatnot. But this is honestly different because we just got done watching WWE Survivor Series, which uh, marked 30 years of The Undertaker, and it was the final farewell for the dead man. And at first, I'll be honest, I was skeptic. I was skeptical, and you can understand that given his history of farewells. This time, however, I kind of feel like it was legit. Now, the reason I feel that way is because, for one thing, all the legends that showed up, those who have been an important part of The Undertaker's life and career, uh, they showed up to pay their respects. Uh, an amazing legendary video package to tribute his career. Um, Vince McMahon himself did the introduction for The Undertaker. The Taker himself said, It is my time to let The Undertaker rest in peace. Posed, that lovely tribute to Paul Bearer was awesome. And then The Undertaker walked off, the show ended. No interferences, no bogus crap to another pointless WrestleMania match. At that point, I realized this is legit. The Undertaker is done. And I'll be honest. There's just something about The Undertaker that's different compared to other professional wrestlers. I'm making this video because this made me think a lot about myself growing up watching wrestling, watching The Undertaker for over 20 years. I've been watching The Undertaker for over 20 years, folks. And although I've been critical over his last few years of in-ring work... The one thing I can never take away is my respect for his dedication and his passion for the sport. The Undertaker has been and always will be my favorite wrestler of all time. And I first saw The Undertaker, let's see, what was I watching? Like I, I remember as a kid, as like a three to four year old, uh, I didn't see much of wrestling live, but I was shown tapes of, yeah, videotapes at the time videotapes of The Undertaker's past matches. Uh, so when I saw like what this character was like, I was frightened. I was initially frightened when I saw this this guy who could just roll his eyes to the back of his head, put people down with a tombstone power driver. That demonic stare he just gives everybody. It was just, whoa, intense. And so I honestly just thought to myself that there's something a different from that guy compared to the other guys. That's what I was saying when I was a kid. These days, um, when I looked back on the history of The Undertaker, I managed to watch a lot of his most legendary matches, and I got to witness live, in person, some of his matches. And and even if I didn't watch it live, when I, I remember many years ago, I used to watch pay-per-views at my local movie theater. I'm not kidding, they actually did that. That was really cool. And I was at my local movie theater, and 11 years ago, 2009, I watched WrestleMania 25. My witness, in my opinion, is still the greatest professional wrestling match of all time when The Undertaker took on Shawn Michaels. That was... I still don't... I have not seen a single match that came even close to topping that. No matter what this dumbass critics say, I don't listen to them. I just listen to my opinion. Same thing is for you guys. You should always listen to your own opinions instead of everybody else's. So if I say that a certain match is the best ever... Only take the word for it if you think it's correct. But if your mind thinks differently, and something else is your favorite match of all time, go with that. Always go with that. Uh, a big part of The Undertaker for my childhood was the streak, the undefeated WrestleMania streak. For many years, however, we didn't realize it was a streak because, you know, nobody paid much attention. But then as time went on, we are like, wait a minute, this guy's never lost at WrestleMania. And, uh... Basically, uh, growing up, the the streak was eight and zero oh when I first started watching. Eight and zero. Oh, that's how long I've been watching wrestling. So I witnessed as I grew up, a rise from nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all the way up to twenty one. And everybody knows when the streak ended, the hands of Brock Lesnar in two thousand fourteen. 
it was without a doubt the most, in my opinion, disres disrespectful thing to ever do to The Undertaker, but at the same time, there was just something about that that was symbolic to me. I didn't really, I don't really tell people much of this, but the end of the streak impacted me a lot more than I thought it did, because as I said before, watching The Undertaker compete uh, as I was growing up was my childhood. And my childhood was the undefeated streak. And when the streak ended on April 6, 2014, WrestleMania 30, it was literally two days before my 18th birthday. So I was literally leaving my childhood behind and turning into an adult, becoming a grown-up. And literally two days before I became an adult, the streak ended. And when that happened, that hit me pretty hard because I did not think I would witness that happen, especially at that time. Why now? It was just... I know it was a coincidence of the time, but it still just hit me because I knew I was leaving childhood behind and ready to move on as an adult. But who would have thought that little, your childhood would die two days before you leave? That was, without a doubt, a crazy moment that I'll always remember. Not a happy one, either. Not really a happy one. And yes, um, the last few years I've been critical of The Undertaker's in-ring work because he hasn't performed like he used to. Most well, specifically, uh, constant WrestleMania matches, Saudi Arabia events, the, the list goes on. His last match with AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36, the Boneyard Cinematic match, was a fantastic way for him to have at least one more WrestleMania match before he goes out. And I know it wasn't in front of a crowd, but that's okay. And with The Undertaker's like retirement after Survivor Series, I honestly think to myself, that was perfect. That was perfect. Perfection. And I'm glad they paid tribute to the late Paul Bearer as well. With that hologram at the end. I enjoyed that very much. So now, of course, the question remains, what's next now for wrestling? The Undertaker is done. So where do we go from here? In my opinion, there will never be anyone like The Undertaker, and there never will be. Never will be. No matter what. No matter how close someone may think they might be getting, I don't think there will ever be somebody like The Undertaker ever again. The Fiend Bray Wyatt can try all he wants, but let's be, let's be fair. The Fiend could never be The Undertaker. Nobody could ever be The Undertaker, no matter how spooky or supernatural you are. So folks, this is the video I wanted to post because this is my tribute and thank you video for The Undertaker for 30 years of impact in the wrestling industry. November 22nd, 1990 to November 22nd, 2020. In exact 30 years. I enjoyed it very much. I'm glad I got to be along for the ride for over 20 of those 30 years. So I would consider myself a lucky person. And to this day, my love for wrestling will always live on. Of course... <laughs> Lately, I'm going to be taking some time off of YouTube because of recent medical problems, but I promise you guys I'll be fine. But whenever I'm able to come back, I will let you guys know, okay? This isn't an injury update video. I just want to let I want to make this video to thank The Undertaker and thank the WWE for everything for that. So now, folks, the Optimistic Awards is the next video set for premiere on December 1st, 2020. And hope you guys are excited for that. I'm excited for it. It's my favorite thing to do every year. And I will keep you guys updated and notified on my social media. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description for more updates. And for now, folks, this is the end for The Undertaker's career. This is the end of this video. So I'll thank you guys very much. Stay safe, as always, because COVID is rising. And we want to keep safe as much as possible. And always remember to think optimistically and I love my hair now I look good as a blonde person <laughs> ah well what the hell <laughs> take care everyone and I'll see you guys at the Optimistic Awards on December 1st